Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. Let's see what's going on for Pisces placements at the time you watch this video. Always, always remember guys, just keep an open mind. Take what resonates as it resonates with you. If nothing resonates, that's fine. It could just not be your reading or it hasn't happened yet for you. Um, so just bear that in mind. And if you feel called to watch any other video on the channel, go watch it because your messages could be there. Take the, the messages as they apply to your situation. You're going to have to use your own discernment. Thank you all so, so much for your likes, your shares, Charlie and Harvey, I swear. Your comments and your feedback are greatly appreciated. You guys have such kind words for me and each other, which I like to see. And thank you for subscribing. All right, let's see what's going on for Pisces at the time you watch this video. This is the Connolly Tarot deck for those of you who are interested. I don't know if I've shown you yesterday's deck, but anyway, here we go, Pisces. Oh, Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck as the overall energy today. We like the Page of Cups. This could be some sort of good news. This could be praise, recognition. This could be an invitation, a love offer, um, proposals of some sort. This could be positive feedback, praise, if I didn't say that already. Hearing something that makes you happy, okay? That's the bottom line. All right, so let's see. In today's energy, we have the hangman. So you could be dealing with another Pisces or another water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Doesn't really matter much for daily readings, but with the hangman and the overall energy, whatever information is coming your way, I feel like it gives you a different perspective on something or it gets something unstuck. Right? So if it's a new person that you're meeting, it could get your love life unstuck. If it's a new job opportunity, it, get that, it gets that area of, of your life unstuck. And it either was stale, stagnant, on hold, or you just it wasn't satisfying for you, whatever the reason was, right? But there's this new pages, new energy coming in, if it's in the form of a person or a message or an offer or whatever, um, that's giving you a different understanding, a different perspective, a different option. It gets something unstuck, okay? What's in the past of the situation? The Six of Cups. All right. I think we're coming up, we're working our way up to a Mercury retrograde in December, if I'm not mistaken, but um, this could be where you were stuck on someone and you could be hearing from them. Uh, if it's about love life, if it's about a job, or they were stuck on you, or you were stuck on each other, but no one was reaching out. I don't know. Or um, it's a situation with friends, family members, siblings that was stuck, stagnant, put on hold. And there could be new communication leading to new developments. This could be a friend, right? A friendship seen through different eyes because of some sort of love declaration. That could be that as well. Um, this could be something, if it's job or business or your own personal projects, whatever the case may be, this is something that has been a dream of yours, okay, and you put some action, some time toward it, you applied for something, you interviewed for something, you submitted something, and it just, you never really heard back, so you're like, I don't quite know what happened with that. That could be what's coming your way today, right? after a time of waiting. And where is that going to take things for you? Page of Wands. More communication, but also more um, action oriented. It's still a page. The Page of Cups is like, wouldn't it be nice if this and we'd like to do this and we'd love to do that. The Page of Wands is like, so when are we doing this? You know, kind of more of a engaged flirty, let's do this, let's go there, and you know what I mean, type of energy with the Page of Wands. So this could be someone testing the waters to see if you're still interested, if some time has passed. And then once they figure out that you still are, then with the Page of Wands, it's like, okay, let's talk next steps. When are, when are we meeting? When can we see you? When, can, when are you available? When can, when can you start? You know, or if this is like love life with someone you haven't seen or heard from in a while, provided you're both still on the same page, 
you know, once you have that initial, hey, how are you? It's been a long time, you know, or I miss you or whatever. And when the conclusion is drawn that, okay, it's still mutual interest, then it gets a little bit more fun, more flirty, more, you know. Or Pisces, are you still interested? We just came across your application. We just came across your resume. We just came across your bid, whatever. And we love it, we're interested. Are you still interested? When you say yes, in this combination of cards, remember if this is not your scenario, then it's not your scenario, but in this combination of cards, the interest is still mutual. Then it's like, oh great, when can we meet, right? Let's set a date here. All right, Pisces. I'm liking this. This is good. This is good. Let's see what else is going on, okay, here under this clarifying this hangman. Ten of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is an offer coming your way. Either towards a reconciliation or towards making peace. And again, it could be friend, family member. It can be ex if that's something you're still open to. I would caution you just make sure the same issues you had before are not still there. It doesn't have to be the case for everyone. It's always just something to consider. Um, but if something just got put on hold, right, for whatever reason, or it couldn't go anywhere for whatever reason, there's an offer here. Again, this tells me the feelings are still mutual, the interest is still mutual between you and this thing, this person, this opportunity. This could also be if you've been trying to get a house or get a property to rent it or buy it or whatever. And you were waiting either for your credit checks to go through, for your mortgages to be approved, for your loans to be approved, whatever that situation is. Those are positive results. They're coming back and it allows this to progress. Okay, so if anything was on hold due to background checks, credit checks, anything like that, and it's been taken for, for forever. Okay, that's what's coming in. Hey, good news, your background check came, came out clear, came out this way, that way. We're happy with that, we can proceed, right? What's this Six of Cups? Nine of Cups, Temperance. Yeah, this is something or someone that you viewed as, this would be a dream come true. This is the perfect thing for me. This is the perfect thing, this is the perfect place, this is the perfect person, this is the perfect dynamic, this is the perfect opportunity for me, okay? And there was initial fulfillment, whether that means the fulfillment you felt when you realized that what you want actually exists, right? Oh my God, I can't believe I found it, right? Or it was some sort of initial meetings happen, some sort of initial interactions happen, there was dating, or there was the start of something there, the start of a union, okay? But again, with temperance, I feel like it was right person, wrong time, or right situation, wrong time, okay? Because this talks about divine timing, this talks about things not being quite ready when you initially came across this thing, or person, or possibility. Things were not quite ready to, to progress, okay, for whatever reason. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a siren going off. This could be where they, where you got the initial approval, you got the initial acceptance, you did the initial stages, right? Because there was a sense of accomplishment and, and, and achievement, but then it was a case of you didn't hear back, you didn't quite know what else was happening, right? Or again, waiting for some checks. To come through an actual check or background check okay that sort of energy okay let's go deeper on this hangman with the ten of cups page of pentacles yeah you're getting good news that something you want and it was it was stuck somewhere or it was delayed somewhere or one of the stages one of the phases one of the steps was just taking longer and there's good news that this can move forward, this can progress now. Whatever it was that they needed to look into, investigate, it can progress now. 
for some of you, this is where you're telling someone that's trying to come back into your life, I need to see proof that you've changed the hangman with the page of pentacles if we're going to get back together with the ten of cups. If I'm going to forgive you, if I'm going to take you back, if I'm going to give you another chance or just forgive you and let you go. Because the page of pentacles can be an energy of, well, I want to see facts, I want to see proof, I want to see receipts. You're doing the checks, right? So what else with the hangman, ten of cups, and the page of pentacles in today's energy? Ace of wands... The Knight of Cups, whoa, and the King of Cups, whoa, all right, whoa, okay, <laughs> this is action, this is passion, this is drive, this is, let's do this, again, with the Knight of Cups, this is like, being swept off your feet, being very impressed by what they're offering you. Again, you could be dealing with the water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the King of Cups. Doesn't have to be. This could be your energy. You're going after someone else or something else yourself and pursuing it and pushing it along because you got the results back and then you are going now to back to that company and saying, hey, I got my check back. I got my this back. Here you go. You can put it on my file and that will progress your application if they weren't doing the checks through a third party type of situation. So if you are waiting for something, you're getting what it is that you're waiting for. It could be just money or um, a positive review or a, for some of you, I hear clean, clear bill of health you were waiting for to start something new, maybe to start the process of trying to get pregnant or to start IVF for some of you or adoption process, surrogate process, quite specific, but if it's for you, let me know. Obviously not going to be for everyone. Don't freak out. Um, but for others of you, this is someone, If it, they, even if they're not a water sign, the King of Cups shows up to tell you that this is someone who was just as invested in this as you were, but they were not necessarily showing it. They were holding back for whatever reason. I also see this as someone went through different stages because we have Six of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, and now the King of Cups. So some time has passed, something has grown, someone has grown, someone has developed, someone has changed and improved, healed. Okay. For some of you, this is a friend or a sibling or a family member that was away on business or for studies and they're coming back to town, they're coming back home. And you can resume that relationship, right? It could just be that. But this is someone who's going to be pursuing you. Again, it's like initial messaging, very sweet, very tentative, very timid, necessarily. It kind of be, it can be, right? And then look at all these pages. The more you talk, then they go into detail about something, potentially what's been going on or what they've been up to. And then the more you talk and it, the realization is, hey, okay, we both still want this. Then they're coming up with some sort of offer. I want to take you out. I want to do this together. I want to go there together. I want to start something with you. Let's do this. That's the East of Wands with the Knight of Cups. And they're very stable in their mind, in their heart, in their uh, energy. They are determined. So I don't know if they were stuck in something else that they had to wrap up before they could come your way. Because again, we're going back to met the right person at the wrong time. Maybe they were involved with something else, someone else. Maybe they were in the process of getting a divorce or a separation. Maybe they were in the process of clearing things up in terms of child support, custody agreements, divorce settlements, whatever that is. Or maybe you weren't necessarily open to this. You didn't know how you felt because this could have been just a friendship. And now someone's trying to change that dynamic. And maybe for a while you were like, I don't, I don't know how I would feel about that. Or maybe you were involved in something else. You know what I mean? It was just somehow things were not ready to come together when you first encountered this thing, this person, or this opportunity. So let's see where things are going to go for you with the Page of Wands. So what can Pisces expect? We have the death card with the four of swords, the end of delay, the end of stagnation, the end of a healing phase for some of you or someone else who's now coming your way. So it is a brand new beginning, fresh start. 
this is a situation that's very different. So I am going to say you're going to have to be careful because I think exes are exes for a reason. But for some of you, if a long time has passed, or if you, in the meantime, as being exes, and as exes, you've also developed a new sense of friendship or a new sense of respect for one another, this can be, it can feel like a brand new situation where you do get, it's like getting back together, but so long has passed that it's almost like we can't even call it that. You know what I mean? Is that kind of situation. For some of you, I'm seeing like a remarriage. So this is someone you were married to, divorced, you became a, a hell of a lot better friends or co-parents than you ever were as a couple. Some time has passed with you in those capacities to, for one another. And there's something coming up today where there's a conversation. What do you think about going on a date? Right? Because it will feel like a, a new person because they are a different person. You're a different person. The, the situation will be different in that kind of sense. Okay? It could be the, the kind of reconciliation that I'm looking at, but it's that's one scenario that I'm seeing. It doesn't have to be that for all of you, okay? But yeah, it's the end of waiting, the end of this transition phase, whatever's been going on, the end of stagnancy, the end of healing. If you're the one that had a guard up with this person, because maybe you've been healing from something, whether you were aware of this or not, if you were just guarded and you didn't quite know why, or if you had some sort of trust issues and you didn't quite know why, or maybe you do know why and you've been doing therapy and you're like, I'm not ready, hangman, right? I recognize there's something here, but I'm not ready for something more, okay? And there could be something today where you're saying, you know what, I am ready. I'm ready now. Do you still want this, right? Because whoever had the guard up, is putting it down, is taking a chance, is opening up to the possibilities. And where is this going to go for Pisces? We have the Eight of Wands, the Star, oh, so beautiful, and the King of Wands. Fast movement, fun, excitement, a lot of communication, fun communication, falling in love. Eight of Wands, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, falling in love. Starry-eyed, falling in love. This is the one for you if it's person, opportunity, situation with the star card. This is your dream come true. You have the nine of cups in the past. So, so again, recognizing that something has potential but not being ready for whatever reason. And now allowing that potential to develop, to grow to its full strength. You recognize that something could be a dream come true. But again, it was kind of not ready. Needed more time and didn't more, I don't know. And now it's like, okay, well, if we let this unfold, this is a dream come true. It will change your life for the better. Okay, that's a guy that's not an actual woman's breast, so hopefully that doesn't get flagged, but anyway. Um, King of Wands is an energy of confidence, passion, initiative, drive, success, progression. This could be fame and popularity for some of you that is happening, okay? This could be you being put in charge of something, the head of something. So this could be career progression, career success. This is also healing for those of you where you've been having health issues. I'm not a medical professional. You listen to your doctors or you know whoever you go to for advice on, on that front. But because we got that message about waiting for a clear bill of health, that's coming. And also finally being done with something. I don't know if it's been a recurring thing in your life in terms of your health. It could be mental health. It doesn't have to be physical. Um, but usually they're tied. Um, but yeah, it's like finally finding the answer. Finally finding the solution. Finally finding the right diagnosis, the correct diagnosis. So that now you can have the correct treatment. And that issue that you've been struggling with on and off forever in your life. Or for a long time now. Is finally done. This is big, Pisces. This is big. Whoa. And if it's just been stress and has been causing all sorts of issues for you, you're getting the tools, the understanding of how to handle it for yourself so that you're, you can get ahead of it. 
so that you're not playing catch up, so that you don't feel overwhelmed all the time. You're in charge and you feel like you're in charge. That's a big transformation, okay? With the death card, I'm getting chills. Under the Page of Cups, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Three of Wands, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone, Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands. There's been some sort of ending, the Hermit. Someone walked away from something to come build something else with you. And it's been a stalemate. That's why things have been a stalemate. Because someone had to walk away from something else. Or again, because some checks had to be performed. Take the messages as they resonate with you, okay? But everything's coming back good, positive, what you wanted to see, what you wanted to hear, the approvals, the green lights. And it's like, okay, we can go from here now. We have the diamond ray, diamond light body, high frequency activations, planetary grid work. This could be an actual proposal for some of you. But again, it's crystal clear clarity. Is that a, th is that a what phrase? Anyway, that's what I heard. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> when I um, just channel messages, I'm not always in charge of what comes out or how. So sometimes it gets funny. And you just got to laugh at yourself. But I think you understand what I mean. Wow, Pisces. Something is about to be transformed in your life in a big way. And if you're not dealing with anyone and you don't want to deal with exes and you don't, the way this could apply if it's a brand new situation is, for example, if you had a dream for yourself, I know what my dream partner looks like as a concept. I know what my dream home looks like as a concept. I know what my dream job looks like as a concept. And with the hangman, what's been on hold is you being very selective with what you accept and what you commit to and what you welcome into your life. And it's not been successful. It's not been that great because it's not your dream concept over here. So what could be happening today is some sort of new pages, new person, new opportunity, a new conversation, going to a new place, doing something different today. And you come across someone and it's like, oh my God, you could be. You're literally like if I wrote down what my dream partner is and I go check out what I wrote down, you are what I wrote down right or this job is or this home is because why because you've been manifesting it that's why and this is manifestation at its finest for some of you I, I saw a map you drew a map of your home of your dream home and through some sort of turn of events you're either coming across an ad a listing or someone around you is telling you hey this place this is just it's not even on the market or this place just came on the market or this friend of mine is moving out they're going to be looking for someone to buy the property or this friend of mine is moving abroad or whatever they want to rent out their property and when you go see it the map that you drew is this place i'm not even kidding and it leads to you relocating with the death card and just living your life in your dream home okay so it could be that way that this applies to you if, if you're not resonating with anything that you're already familiar with or you've already invested in okay so let's see oracle energy and advice for pisces for today what else does pisces need to know okay we'll take those sorry if that was loud priscelli if that's how you say that bluestone pilgrimage sacred sites grid work dragon energy i'm not even kidding well, i was talking about maps or you writing down lists that's also a way of mapping something describing something okay definitely going to a new place that could be literally doing something differently if and that means uh, going and getting your coffee from a different place than usual visiting a new place visiting a new location somehow in whatever capacity could be what puts you in touch with someone but there's definitely an energy of movement with pilgrimage moving but also moving something forward. I also hear something to the effect of coming out of the woods. I don't know if that's to do with that health message or it's again that situation of I'm in the middle of the woods. I'm not quite sure which way is left and right anymore. I'm not quite sure what's happening with the situation. This is like coming out of the woods that way as well, right? 
where you're like, oh, now I know where I am. I know what I'm doing. What else do we have? We have Lilac Spirit Quartz Community, Healing Division, Teamwork, Freedom. Okay. So again, we have the sense of community. Again, we have the sense of healing division. So again, making peace, reconciliation, coming back together with something, coming back together with someone. Teamwork, because we want the same things, because we're on the same page, because now things are ready. Green, epidote, and star, yeah, um, Yasmin, Jasmine, star energy here. Restructure, identifying, reframing, and enhancing. Again, yeah, there's been a restructure somewhere. Maybe that's why your application was stuck. But also, what has changed here? What is different? Also, I see, again, checks, looking at the details, doing background checks in whatever capacity. Pearl and Larimar. Larimar. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let go. Surrender, release, patterns and triggers. And Pleiades. Yeah, this is an energy of just going with it, embracing an opportunity, putting your guard down, taking a chance with that rainbow energy. Because what's in front of you with the Page of Pentacles and the Pearl energy is real, it's concrete, it checks out. So you're like, okay, all right, let's do this then. Turquoise and forget-me-not, balance, cracking open, deep healing, balancing karma. Absolutely, some karmic blessings are about to come your way. Again, something coming back around because this time is the right time. This time is the right circumstance with the forget-me-not energy. Astrophilite and Ginkgo, Star Elders, Signs and Symbols, Divine Blueprints, and Amenti. Again, with the blueprints, I'm telling you, it's a very specific message for someone you wrote down something and that's what's coming up, or you've requested something and the way you requested it is what is being approved and granted, or you literally did maps, drew something up, and that's what's coming to be, coming to pass. Approvals and green lights from higher ups or universe. Walking through a new doorway, that could be literal, okay? But also metaphorical in today's energy. Wow, Pisces, I like this reading. Oh, I'm loving this new format. We're getting such, I don't know, the messages flow a little bit differently than before. I think it's a bit clearer, but unless I'm not expressing it very clearly, but hopefully I am. <laughs> but wow, awesome, awesome energy. If you're the one that's been on the fence about something, you could be getting that clarity to where you are going out and pursuing something, right? Or you're getting that missing piece of information. Or there's gonna be the surprise of your life because someone's trying to redefine your dynamic, redefine your relationship. Wow, loving it, loving it. And if you wanna meet anyone new or come across new opportunities, manifest new opportunities in your life, a good way to start doing that is by doing different things, doing something different every day, going to a different place, different location, different park, taking a different route to wherever you're going, getting coffee from a different place, getting a different type of coffee, changing small changes where you're taking a chance and trying something new in a harmless way, that is what leads to the bigger changes, okay? So let's see, pick your fortune card, fortune cookie card. You can pick a number one, two, or three. You can select two numbers. You can select all the numbers to give you messages. It can be a standalone message to help you through your day, or it can be something linked to today's reading. I'll leave up to you to interpret. Fortune cookie messages for Pisces today. One, two, three. Twists and turns. Carefully made plans could be thrown out the window as major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with all the upheaval. Now, the way I'm seeing this is unexpected. It's not necessarily an upheaval. It's a case of, I don't know how I feel about this, <laughs> okay? But perspective is everything. So just bear that in mind. That was our message yesterday. But there's definitely something changes. Something is changing, okay? Something is taking a twist. Something is trying to be redefined or something that has had a lot of twists and turns is finally coming to a, po a point of, okay, we know what we're doing from here. Okay, if you chose number one, we have sexuality. Existing relationships could find a new passion and heightened sexual attraction, okay? 
Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong, but if single, beware of temptation that could lead to trouble. A child will also bring great joy. I've seen all those messages in our reading, but it could also be a standalone message for you. If you chose number two, we have positive work outcomes. Seeing this in the reading too. Consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. If it's home, if it's car, dream car for some of you. I don't know, right? And if you chose number three, we have reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. Beautiful. We've also seen these messages in the reading. Pisces. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right. Come back and tell me what's going on. And remember, guys, time is fluid. So for some of you who have already gone through this, for others, you're going through it. You're about to be going through it. Um, just keep that in mind, okay? But it's, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, looking forward to your thoughts in the comment section. As always, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.